mystery Sunday morning here at the beautiful Lincoln Center, sort of new home of Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. We are inside those tents getting you hair, nails, makeup, essentially all of the beauty that you need to know straight from the runways. So stay tuned for our ongoing coverage of Fall 2012 Fashion Week. Morning Fashion Week, it's Felicia Walker Benson here behind the scenes at the tent at Lincoln Center. We're going backstage today with Leela Rose. We're going to talk to Stila on makeup and Ted Gibson on hair. As you can see, it's a wild, crazy backstage. We're going to get all the footage, so just stick around. <laughs> I'm here with Anna Maria, lead nail technician for SC. Can you tell us a little bit about the nail look this season? Hi everyone. So we're doing case study from SC. Okay. Which is a great transition from the summer to the fall. So we're getting more earthy mm -hmm. tone. And this is a cool, khaki, green, okay. grayish tone to it. Okay. Beige, you know. Lila Rose collection is a very architectural, geometric inspiration. Okay. A lot of brick color tones, a lot of orange, mm -hmm. um, dark red. Okay. So thinking outside. Okay. It's really it's creamy. Perfect. It's like a rich, creamy khaki and like a step up from nude. Yes. Okay. Very solid, solid okay. color. It's beautiful. Thank cool. you. Talk to us about the product. The hair is structured, but it's really soft and beautiful. So tell me about the product and how you applied it. Well, what's great is that I use a um, product uh, out of my line called Build It Blow Drying Spray. Okay. It creates volume and hair. It creates a really nice texture. Okay. Um, but it's not too overly done. Okay. So we did a Ted Gibson blow dry. That's how the girls came out. And okay. then we actually created this Gibson girl effect on the top. And then we used my hairspray called Beautiful Hold. It okay. smells like gardenia. Okay. It's fabulous. It works a working hairspray. I use it on all my girls from Ashley Green to Zoe Saldana. Okay. To Gabriel Union. Union to ask you know, to Annie Hathaway, all my girls. That's what okay. I use it on. Sounds so it's very tech. It looks so beautiful and touchable. Thank you so much, Tad. <laughs> So we're backstage at Leela Rose and we're spending time with Arcona and we're talking about skincare prep and I always wonder how does that work for the models because obviously like they're not using the products like day after day they're just kind of being prepped so how does that all work and tell me about what you're using today. Absolutely well it's really important to take care of the skin especially for the models that are running from show to show their skin goes through a lot and because a lot of these looks are really incorporating that beautiful even fresh dewy skin the skin prep becomes a key element in going into the look. Okay, so skin is in. That's always a trend. Okay. And exactly. Okay. Um, so first things first, we want to make sure that the skin is clean and that any makeup maybe left from the show before or the night before has been removed. So okay. we're using Arcana Triad Pad. Okay. It's a three-in-one cleansing pad. It'll cleanse, tone, and hydrate in one step. Okay. Really gentle. They smell incredible. These are your go-to product. If you can't do anything else, okay. you can have this on your nightstand. Okay. Like the lazy girl face wash. You're like too tired for water. Zip, 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 and you're done. Exactly, that's the one. Okay. Um, so once the skin, the step here? well, we're gonna hydrate the skin. Now, a lot of the models are really young. They have combination skin. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use a couple of things. The okay. Arcana Magic White Ice. Okay. This is gonna be your lightweight gel hydrator, perfect for combination skin. Okay. Not gonna clog the pores. Okay. But if there are areas that are more dehydrated, it's winter time, maybe they need a little extra moisture, mm -hmm. the hydrating serum is gonna be applied right after that. Okay, now tell me about the mist that I just used because I feel really invigorated and I don't feel like I'm in a crazy vaccine tent situation at all. <laughs> That's the Lavender Hydrosol. Okay. Now lavender is proven to be calming. Mm -hmm. It's very soothing, not only for your mental state, it's uh -huh. kind of relaxing, but also for the skin. Okay. But this is a nourishing mist. It hydrates the skin. Okay. It's a perfect addition after the makeup. If you okay. just want to refresh and give that glow, mm -hmm. mist it right on. But you can throw this in your bag, keep this with you anytime, okay. just to kind of give that extra hydration. Okay, and of course, perfect. the lavender is great benefit. Okay, great. There you have it. Backstage skin at Lila Rose. Dom, hi, honey. 
So what's going on? Tell me about the makeup today. So it's kind of, um, if you think of like a Victorian painting, just mm -hmm. really like an oil painting, everything is washy and just really beautiful. Okay. So um, the eyes, there's really nothing on the lid, but um, we did a lot of like grays and topes, um, just mm -hmm. very tight to the crease and then wash through the brow. Okay. Um, just very soft and very diffused and okay. then very rounded as well. Mm -hmm. And then brought the color under the eye. Okay. Um, very soft lashes, kind of that baby doll um, uh, cream topaz kind of taffy okay. eyeliner on the inner rim just and to the, open up the eye. The lower lid is just like their own natural eye color. Yeah, There's really no the color, their natural shade. There's the no color. Lid. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just their natural okay, shade. Okay, pretty. Um, and is there any liner for this look? No liner, just okay. that inside eyeliner. It's okay. very just uh, diffusing and rounding the shape of the eye with okay. contour. Okay, and tell us about the lip. You've done a dark lip before with Lila Rose. We have last season yeah. um, that we did the show. It was mm -hmm. also a dark lip. Dark uh, lips are in right now. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody always loves gloss, mm -hmm. but um, you know, lipstick has made a comeback. Yeah. And um, women are learning to use lipstick again, so okay. this is more of a bold lip. Okay. Uh, you know, when you think of fall, it's always mm -hmm. like either dark eye very... or dark lip. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Um, this is kind of that brick kind of uh, red okay. kind of shade, but a little bit more more on the brown side. Okay. And lastly, what about cheeks? I don't see much no cheek there. Color. Okay. All you right. Know, we've got a lot on the eye. We've got a lot on the lip. The lip is really the focus of the very washed eye, but okay. we didn't want to do too much on the cheek. Just let their natural color kind of shine through. Okay. But um. A little bit of a uh, shimmer, a little bit of glow. Okay. So no color, but glow. Okay, I'm loving the eye. I think that's my favorite. The yeah. look is beautiful, but the eye is really, really gorgeous. It's stunning, and you know, it, you I'm gonna it try off that tomorrow. The brow. Do the brow. Mm -hmm. So the brow should be a little bit more rounded. Um, it all comes together really beautifully. Okay. Thank you so much. I know you're, you're busy. Welcome. Good luck. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Mwah. Bye. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for Lila Rose. We covered skin, which we see is way more important than we even think. The skin has to be perfect. Models are going through so much rigorous, you know, tugging and pulling. So we got skincare, we got makeup, hair, and nails. Catch us back at the This That Beauty Show for a full wrap up on trends from Fashion Week this year, 2012 fall. Thanks, bye.